Hello, I'm Chris. If you struggle with reverse B parking, then try this 45 degree method that I'm going to show you. You're allowed to use this method on the driving test, and some new drivers find it easier as there's less reference points to remember. It also works in any car. To make this maneuver easier, I'm going to move the left hand mirror down slightly as I'm going to reverse into a bay on the left, and I can really make sure I end up in a bay. You're allowed to move the mirror down on the driving test, but don't stare at the mirror when reversing, or you might hit someone or something behind. And of course, you'll fail your driving test. If it's safe, drive close to the bay that you want. Stop when your shoulder is lined up with the middle of the bay that you want to reverse into. Check the interior and right hand mirror, plus a quick blind spot check to the right to make sure no one's going past on the right. Once it's safe, as soon as you move very slowly forward, steer full lock, maximum right, to get a 45 degree angle. Stop before driving into the bays in front, but just before stopping, steer a little left to get the wheels ready for the next part. Select reverse to get the white reverse lights on. That tells other people what you intend to do. So now the back of my car is pointing at the bay I want to reverse into. You should be able to see the target bay in your left hand mirror like this. Before reversing, you must check the blind spot on the right, the right hand mirror, ahead, left hand mirror, left blind spot, and over your left shoulder through the rear window. When it's safe, slowly reverse and steer maximum full lock left, so the back of the car goes left. Now you can't see the back wheel, but imagine it's at the bottom of the mirror. I need to make sure that it ends up next to this line. If the gap looks like this, then I know the other side will be okay. Once you're in the bay and the front of the car looks level with something ahead, then straighten the steering. From maximum steering left to having them straight is normally about one and a half turns, or one and a quarter depending on the car. Be ready to adjust the steering if needed, and stop if anyone gets near you, but continue if it's safe. Stop once the line goes under the mirror. This point may look slightly different for you as it depends on the car you drive in and your height. But make sure you stop sooner if something's sticking out to your bay behind. Once the car's safe and secure, you're allowed to open your door to make sure you're in the bay. If you aren't, then once it's safe, you're allowed to drive forward and readjust it back in. This would normally be a driving fault or a minor as they're commonly called, but it's better than a serious fault for finishing on the line or out of the bay. Don't forget to readjust the mirror back up for driving. This time I'll reverse into a bay on the right. I'll start close to the bay I want, and stop once my shoulder is lined up with the middle of the bay that I'm going to reverse into. As I'm going to be reversing into a bay on the right, I'll move the right hand mirror down slightly to see the lines. You can move this mirror down slightly whenever you want, and don't forget that you can move the mirror down on the driving test too, but just don't stare at it. Before steering maximum to the left, I'll check the interior, left hand mirror, and a quick blind spot check to the left for anyone going past. As soon as I move, I'll steer full lock maximum to the left. Stop before driving into the bays in front, but just before stopping, steer a bit to the right to get the wheels ready for the next part. Select reverse. As usual, before reversing, make sure you check all around, including over your left shoulder, through the rear window, last. Once it's safe, slowly reverse, steering maximum right. Imagine the back wheel is here, and we need it to finish next to this white line, with a little gap in between. Keep observing around, and stop if anyone gets near you, but continue once it's safe. The car looks straight and level with the vehicle and lines in front. Now with the car moving slowly, quickly straighten the wheels. Stop once the line goes under the mirror. This point may look slightly different for you, and stop earlier if there's something sticking out to your bay behind. As long as it's safe, you're allowed to open your door to check you're in the bay. And if you aren't, then check all around, drive forward, and readjust it back in. This will probably be a driving fault, but at least it won't be a serious fault for not being in the bay. 
readjust any mirrors once you've finished. But does this method work in between two cars? Let's find out. The same as before, I'll start close to the bay I want. I'll stop once my shoulder is in the middle of the target bay. Once it's safe, steer maximum, full lock right. A little left before stopping. Stopping before driving into the bays ahead. Once it's safe, reverse, steering maximum left. Checking both mirrors to make sure I'm not going to hit the other vehicles and the rear window for anyone behind. Adjust the steering if you need to. The car now looks straight and level with what I can see ahead and behind. Now I just need to straighten the wheels, which from full lock, maximum steering to the wheels pointing straight is normally one and a half or one and a quarter turns, depending on the car. It looks a little close on the left, so I'll steer a bit to the right. Bear in mind that this vehicle is parked close to the line and this one's further away from it. I can hear the parking sensors, they're good, but they're very sensitive. Stop once the line goes under the mirror, but stop earlier if there's anything sticking out into your bay behind. Now you might be thinking that I looked a bit close to the vehicle on the passenger side. Well, if I open my door first, there's a good space. And the same on the passenger side. If you're unhappy with your parking, then once it's safe, move forward and readjust it back in. Watch this video next if you need help with parallel parking. Thanks a lot for watching, I really hope it helps. Please like and subscribe as it really helps us make more videos. In the meantime, keep safe on the road and bye for now.